All right, the lacrosse districts are underway, and they are going full steam ahead. You have some great Central Mass versus Central Mass matchups. You also have some great Western Mass versus Central Mass matchups, and that's what we're going to begin with tonight. Out West, Tantasqua tonight, hosting Northampton. Michael Frio leading the Warriors in this one. They got it in right before the storm. Second quarter, 5-3 Tantasqua. Warriors attacking the shot save. Little floor hockey action. Frio scores hockey style. And it's 6-3, Tantasqua in front. Third quarter now, Sean Farland for Tantasqua with a good take, and Ryan Hang with a good save for Northampton. Northampton feeding the crease. Alex Sylvester the shot, Mike Lucas the save. Sylvester on the rebound, he scores. And it's a 6-4 game. Tyler Allcroft cranking up, scores, and Northampton is down by one at 6-5. Then it's Allcroft to Jamison Miller. Miller. Laser from the top of the box. Top shelf and it's 6-6. We're all tied up. Brand new game. Fourth quarter, Ben Beaudry. Twine finder, 7-6. Tantasqua in front. Tantasqua on the man up. Anthony Law, worm burner. That goal makes it 8-6 Tantasqua. And they're not done. Frio on the run finds Beaudry. That's a sweet feed. Beaudry's going to finish that every time. 9-6 Tantasqua. And Tantasco goes on to win this one. 9-6, your final tonight. Cole Russo leading Shrewsbury against Marlboro today. First quarter, Chris Matthews on the ISO. Matthews rips and scores. Getting a lot of mustard on that one, too, on the run. Tough shot, one up in Shrewsbury. Marlboro's Osmar Agrita with a good hit. We always salute the good physical play. Then Matthews on the ISO. Ripples again. 2 nothing. Shrewsbury in front. Colonials are a great team. The attack does their job. The middies do their job. Matt Ward gets the ground ball. Ward weaving through the D. He ripples to make it 3 0 Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury got all the ground balls today. That equals possession. That was a big, big story in this game. Marlboro's James Carney with the cannon up top for the goal. It's 3 1. The Panthers are down by two. Chris Campbell, the long stick. He scores. Campbell was his usual awesome self on faceoffs, defensively, et cetera, even chipping in on the offense. Kyle Spagnolo the shot, the save, and Matt Ward on the rebound. Scores to make it 5-1 Shrewsbury. Perfect execution of the fast break. Great passing. Matt Ward on the finish. 6-1 Shrewsbury in front. Alec Budio drawing the defense. Feeds Nick Massiello. Massiello's got a twine finder. It's 7-1 Shrewsbury in front. Marlboro. Fast break. Michael Fornall, great save for Shrewsbury. And Shrewsbury gets the win this afternoon. 15 to 4 is your final. Mauro had two players hurt in this game, two D1 commits, too. All right, Algonquin and Tantasqua. Girls lacrosse district action. First half, Grace Gibbons. Sweet stick check for Algonquin. Then the T Hawks, Kelly Morin. Kelly Morin going through the defense, taking it strong to the net. Beautiful shot over the goalie's shoulder. It's 3 0 Algonquin in front. Eight meter for Algonquin and Chloe O'Brien. With a great save for Tantasco. O'Brien made some big saves for Tantasco today. Cami Hall on the inside roll. Ripples, that's a great take as well. 3-1, Tantasco's on the board. Sophie Scarbo with an 8-meter goal. 4-1, Algonquin in front. Caitlin Sullivan going to the cooker. Sully scores. She had a hat trick. 5-1, Algonquin. Nicole Kelly, 8-meter. Kelly with a goal. 6-1, Algonquin in front. Then it's Scarbo for Algonquin. Moving through the defense. Scarbo scores. She had the Texas hat trick of four goals. Algonquin, great passing. Tic-tac-toe. Kelly on the finish. She had a hat trick as well. Algonquin gets the win. 20-2 is your final this afternoon. Shrewsbury and East Long Meadow in girls lacrosse. More district action, first round. 2-1 Shrewsbury in the first half. Shrewsbury on the 8-meter. Madeline Montague ripples, and it's 3-1 Colonials. East Long Meadows, Elizabeth Mazza scores. No, she hits the post. Now it's East Long Meadows, Sarah Cafaro. She scores, and it's 3-2. Colonials are up by one. East Long Meadows, Olivia Ketten-Zerite, muscling through the defense, finds Caitlin Tarowski for the equalizer. And we're all tied up. East Long Meadows, Carly Piemonte on the 8-meter. Knocked away, Maria Antonio Silva, good save. Lindsey Brown scoring for the Spartans as they take the lead. 
Ken is a right with a shot, and Antonio, Antonio Silva with another good save for Shrewsbury. Delaney Couture on the fast break. Finds Montague. Montague, beautiful shot down low for the goal. We're tied up at four. Shrewsbury's Colleen McNamara on the ISO. Mack scores. 5-4 Colonials in front. Shrewsbury's Couture on the ISO. Great low shot for the goal. Tucking it in the corner. 6-4 Colonials. Shrewsbury goes on to win this one. 11-9 is your final. Now we've got some boys volleyball. District action. Algonquin and Worcester Tech. First set, Algonquin with the lead. Algonquin serving. Worcester Tech setting Brendan Hamilton for the spike. Hamilton was outstanding in this game for Worcester Tech. Mid volley, Algonquin's John Arcona setting Matthew Hurley for the point. 6 1 Gonk in front. Worcester Tech on the serve. Returned by Algonquin. Setting up Hamilton for another point. And it's 10 3 Gonk at this point. Algonquin. Returning volley. Arcona setting for Dustin Hartnett for the spike, and Algonquin's up 14 8. Algonquin's Arcona the serve, the ace. Actually, just a strong serve. Set point, Algonquin's Hartnett with the serve, unable to be returned. Tomahawks win the first set 25 to 12. Second set, Algonquin serving, and Hamilton getting up and sending it down. Worcester Tech then on the serve. Algonquin on the return. Zachary Nicoletti with a soft touch. And Algonquin gets the win. 3-0 is your final today. I'm Kevin Shea.